Hey guys, Dr. LaMarche here. Today we're going to talk about what pillow is the best to use while you're sleeping. So I get asked frequently what the best position is to sleep in. A lot of people who come here have neck and back pain and feel that their sleeping position might be something that can be affecting that. And that is absolutely true. If you do have an underlying condition in your neck or your back, your sleeping posture can play a big role in making that worse. So the best position to sleep in is on your back. And uh, I can tell you that any position that you are in, you always want to make sure that your spine is as neutral as possible. So you want to try to take pressure off your neck, your shoulders, and your hips. And there are ways to do that. But like I said, the best position is on your back because there's the least amount of stress on different points of your spine. Now, when it comes to pillows, you always want to try to fill the gap. Meaning, if I'm a back sleeper, right, you look at me from the side, you shouldn't be really using a, a large pillow for that because there's not a big gap there. It should be a pretty thin pillow something like a cervical pillow or you could place a small roll under your neck. Most people will typically put a bunch of fluffy pillows under the neck, it'll push their head forward and it'll create a lot of strain on their neck. Um, you know, either causing a neck problem or making a neck problem worse that they already have. This is a cervical pillow and I'll bring it real close so you can see this. But this, this roll here will support the curve of your neck. This allows your head to fall into so your spine stays pretty neutral when you're in that sleeping position which is exactly what you want. You also want to put something under your knees, so something just like a roll. Okay, so this is a very soft pillow, but you put this under your knees and it helps support your lower spine, uh, so it keeps you neutral in that position. The second best position to sleep in is on your side, but you do have to fill in the gap, like I said. So you need a larger pillow if you are a side sleeper than a back sleeper. You cannot use the same pillow, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a problem. So this pillow is a little bit thicker, right? It might look a little bigger to you, but if I put it here, this is actually a great size if I'm a side sleeper. This pillow has a cutout for my shoulder. So if I do roll a little bit, it allows me to still uh, stay pretty neutral. And that roll pillow you just saw, use the same one, but when you're on your side, put it between your knees. It's gonna lift your knee up and it's gonna take pressure off of your hip and your pelvis, keeping your spine neutral, getting rid of one of those stress points and help prevent back pain. Now I do want to emphasize those cervical pillows are for back sleepers only. If you're a side sleeper or a stomach sleeper, do not use that cervical pillow. It'll make your problem worse. Or if you didn't have a problem, it might end up giving you one. So very important to remember, you want to use the right pillow for the right position. Now you might say you're not a back sleeper, side sleeper, stomach sleeper. You're all over the place. You're a rogue sleeper. So for people like you, you need something like this. This is a hybrid pillow. So you can see there are... There's a roll here to support the neck if you sleep on your back with this little valley that'll let your head fall into. But the sides are flat and the sides are a little bit bigger. So for people who are all over the place, this is great because you can go from your back, roll on your side, and then if you ever roll on your stomach, which is a terrible position to sleep in, then you can just get rid of the pillow completely. And as mentioned, that third position, which is terrible, sleeping on your stomach. Try to never do it. It's one of the worst positions you can be in. Your, your spine is not neutral at all in this, in this position. So not only are you sleeping with your head turned all night long, it's going to put a lot of strain on your neck, but your pelvis starts to sag into the mattress, and it'll actually jam the joints of your lower back and your pelvis. So try to avoid that best you can. Um, and I know, I know sleeping, uh, sleeping behaviors is really difficult to change. You know, it's hard to go from being a stomach sleeper to a back sleeper, but you have to just try more and more every single day. Try changing your pillows, get a good quality pillow that's going to support you in that position, and you'll have much better luck, and over time, you'll be in a, a much better position at avoiding back and neck pain. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you know anybody with back or neck pain, please share this video with them because they might have no idea that a bad pillow could be contributing to their problem. Please remember to click that bell and subscribe and you can be notified with all the videos that we have promoting health. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.